Day one of the sheet mask challenge is this Biobel Hydrogel Black Lace whatever. I think they're trying to make it sexy. It's not sexy unless you're a freak. I mean like a, a weird freak. So day one, here it is. my channel. I am Hot Mess Ness, MUA, otherwise known as Vanessa. And today is the end of the 30 day sheet mask challenge. <laughs> so this challenge was started from Kat and Kayla's way. So Kat is rented fashion and Kayla's way is Kayla's way. They decided to do a 30 day sheet mask challenge and they labeled it get sheet face 30. So I am going to share with you the results. So here is the very first picture, the before. Now I'm going to share with you some of the masks that I did. in a bag. Some of them did get tossed though. The man was clean in the kitchen and I had them in places. So I'm just gonna go through and show you some of the ones that I used. I put stars on the ones that I thought were really good. And then at the end, I'll show you the after picture. So the very first mask I used was the Biobel Black sheet mask. I thought this one was okay. It was good. I definitely would use it again. Then I used the Ozo Bear Aurora mask. This one was a lot of fun. The Espresso mask, the coffee one, that one was okay. The Jelly Vita Firming Toning mask. This was like the most goopy mask I'd ever used and I really liked it. It's one of those ones you want to do at the very end of the night before you go to bed. This one had so much jelly in it that I had to actually take some of the jelly and put it on the face first because there wasn't a whole lot on the actual mask. There was so much extra jelly in the mask and the actual mask was dry. So I actually put some of the extra on first and then put the mask. This is one that you could redo like three times if you had the extra little papers. So yeah, I mean, I would suggest this one because you could just go to bed. I also used this one. This was like a silver mask. It was fun. It was different. It's okay. The Moochie mask. This was, I think, day six. Day... This is day eight. I think seven's in here somewhere. This is a Kiwi mask. I did like day eight. Day nine was a volcanic mask. It was okay. And day ten was one of my best masks. Shush up! by Friend Vita. This is one of my favorite brands. I've tried one of the caviar masks and this one was a gold one. A black octopus sucker. Here. Day three has flakes of gold in it. Oh, so extra. And it says it's got octopus sucker black sheet mask. I really honestly don't think an octopus has anything to do with this. But it's supposed to suck to your face. It's staying pretty good. One of my favorite brands. Friend Vida. Good mask. Hyaluronic acid, this is day 10. Day 11, the Multi Vita Tone Up Mask. Day 12 was this Martini Mask. I remember this one smelling very good. Day 13 was a water balance. This one was really cool because you could take the hydrogel and melt it down with hot water and reuse it. So I ended up doing a DIY hand and foot mask, which I'll probably end up showing later on, but this one was nice. This one was my favorite. I actually triple starred it. 
It was by Dr. Jart and it was creamy like lotion. It was a really good one. I would definitely repurchase. Today's mask for the 30 day sheet mask challenge is by Dr. Jart. It's a very good brand, but I started to open it up and look, it's all creamy. Repurchase. Day 16, we've jumped into 14. So that means 15 was probably tossed. So day 16, keep cool and let shine. This is a whitening second skin mask. I remember it just being okay. 17 was the grape mask. I remember this one smelling very good. Melatox by Leaders. Uh, this one was good. I love all leaders. Day 18. Day 19 was this macaroon face mask and it smelled like fruit. So that's always delightful. It's like that essential oils kind of thing. Day 20, this one was fun. This was a lifting mask. You put it here and you put it under here and then it like strapped on your face. That can be seen here. Okay, this one is just kind of creepy. Uh, not gonna lie, it's heavy duty. And I have little ears. I have really tiny ears. So needing the help to keep this on but I do appreciate that it stays on. Like I could walk around with this kind of mask. I mean, I look like a freak, but whatever. What's new? Day 21 was another two-step mask. The first one you rubbed all over your face and the second one you put on your face. It was okay. Day 22, healing, nourishing, ginseng mask. This one was really good. It's got a star on it. Uh, this one was also very good. Seven Minute Miracle Deer Milk Moist Up Solution. So this one, it actually got a two star rating. Two stars. So another one you'd want to use at the end of the night. Waterful Moisture Ampule Mask. This one was just okay. We've got another liters. Oh no, this isn't liters. It looks like it. Metaheal. This one was okay. Highly concentrated of natural formula. Unbalanced skin, healthier and resistant to stress. So this one was good. It was thick, it was good. This one was kind of weird. It was a two step and you put the honey underneath and then you put a mask on top. It was a little sticky, but um, I actually had to put makeup on over it and it worked out nicely. So that was this one. And then I did this one. It was a aquarium mask. It was for sensitive and dry skin. I didn't feel like this one was that great. The packaging was more cute than it was that great. This one I really liked. It was orange. It wasn't a cellulose mask, but it was just like a paper one and it was okay. I did enjoy this one. And the last one that I did was today and it was a coconut bio mask with blueberry. This one was delightful. It was a biocellulose, so it really stuck to the face. And I have to say, after doing so many masks, trying to stay on top of it and doing one a day, and in the in-between, I also did some regular masks, which I'll leave here. So really staying on top of the skincare taught me a couple of things. Taught me number one, you're not gonna see incredible results after. Results after, what are you doing? This is my new kitty, the one that showed up the, the day the man was in the hospital. Her name is Gemini, cause she has two faces. Say hi, Gemini. So the thing that I learned the most from this, because when I look at my two pictures, I see differences, but I don't. But what I really feel is the feel the difference. It's the way I feel not necessarily with makeup on, but without makeup on. I'm becoming more comfortable in my skin. I am just as comfortable with a full face of makeup as I am without. And I think that you kind of get used to wearing makeup all the time, all the time, all the time. And then when you do something like this, I find that I'm wearing less makeup. If I'm not filming and I'm not going to work, I'm probably not wearing makeup and that would never have been me before. I wasn't going to leave the house without makeup and I feel like these kind of masks help with that. 
there's something about your confidence that changes even if your skin has not immediately changed so i have noticed a difference in texture and that's not something that a camera will pick up it's not going to unless you take a micro shot and um, fine lines and wrinkles those kind of things take a lot of time to reverse i have a lot of hyperpigmentation and i can see from the first day to the last day those patches are beginning to break up so it's not going to just be like clear like no more white spot if i have a dark spot it's going to start to break up first before it disappears and that's one thing that i noticed i noticed that my overall tone is better and i notice now when i don't wash my face i will have a breakout because my face has been cleaned out and uh, it gets clogged now so my skin is definitely much happier since i started this i'm not going to do a sheet mask necessarily every day i mean i kind of did them before anyway but this kind of like made me do it because you know i was accountable for the 30 day sheet mask challenge so i'm so glad that i did it i will definitely continue to do my sheet masks for what my skin needs for the day and rotate between diy masks and the sheet masks to help with the price points i mean i do get my subscriptions but i also have this weird thing with collecting things and i never want to run out like i don't want to run out of sheet masks it's weird so i'm so glad that i did it and now i'm going to show you the last picture and here's a side by side of the first and the last picture I don't know if you guys can see the results. I mean, they're so minimal to the naked eye, but to me, it's how I feel. And I think that's what's most important. So, you know, let me know what you think of the results yourself. If you did the sheet mask challenge, let me know. I wanna see how your results turned out. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.